This was no normal day at the office. Thousands of Iberia Airlines staff storming into the terminal many of them work at every day. The police outside were powerless to stop so many angry strikers. Thousands had marched eight kilometres to Madrid's Baracas airport to protest against a plan to slash jobs. Yeah, it's so hard to be now unemployed and 3,800 people is too much people unemployed here now. So we are asking the government to say something, to do something, because that's not good for our country. Inside the terminal, passengers were ruining this as a bad day to travel. 70,000 have had their plans disrupted and have either been shifted onto other flights or have been reimbursed. It's quite, it's quite, quite annoying because people probably can... I mean, they don't understand how big the loud is. So, but apart from that, it's, I mean, I have to respect their, their right to for a strike and everything. This is indicative of the strikers' emotions. One of them has draped their high-vis jacket over this robotic check-in assistant on the automated check-in desk. Computers here doing what these people believe real people should be doing. There's also a marked anti-British flavour to this protest. IAG, Iberia's parent company, was born of a merger with British Airways. The unions believe these cuts are being thrust on them by foreigners. This is directed from London. They can hear us here in Spain, but it will take some time before this noise reaches London. What IAG pretends is that the workers can make sacrifices without giving them anything back. Iberia is an unprofitable airline, being battered on two fronts by Spain's woeful economy and competition from low-cost carriers. But its staff say IAG's plan is just too traumatic, and they're intending two more five-day strikes to drive that point home. Rory Callens, Al Jazeera, Madrid.